we have a visitor, it looks like, today. <laughs> Would you like to make an ASMR video with me? Maybe she'll stick around. Or maybe not. really, really well last night, and I was feeling very much myself this morning, and I wanted to invite you in to my cozy, cozy bed, which brings me to today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. For those of you who have been living under or perhaps sleeping on rocks, Helix produces premium mattresses customized to fit your needs conveniently shipped to your door, and their Black Friday sale is currently running. When I recorded this segment, I just got home from the gym, and all I wanted to do was crawl into bed and finally sleep. But as always, these Helix sponsor segments incentivize me to clean my sheets, make my bed from scratch, and get ultra cozy for the night which is very easy to do in a mattress that's specially selected just for you. Their sleep quiz matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body and sleep preferences. I was matched with the Midnight Lux model, and I also use their mattress topper to give me even more luxurious cushioning. I've had it for around five months now, and I can confirm I'm still getting the best sleep of my life on it. Helix offers free shipping in the US, and the mattress comes rolled up in a box at your door and is so easy to set up. They also offer a 100-night sleep trial for you to test the mattress out, and include a 10-year warranty, financing options, and flexible payment plans. So again, Helix is currently doing its Black Friday sale, which is 25% off site-wide, plus two free pillows and bedding bundle with the Lux and Elite mattresses. And I didn't even have time in this ad to talk about how much I love their pillows. I love their pillows. They're so pillowy. And you can get them for free if you buy other stuff. So if you want to level up your whole entire sleep situation, then you can scan this QR code or click my link in the description to take advantage of Helix Sleep's Black Friday sale. Let's do some fabric sounds. I've been running recently, and I think I'm probably going to have to take a couple days off because my ankles really like right here. Right in the zone has started to get. muscle, um, and I think it's just from all of the impact because I run a lot up and down hills, which makes things a little bit more intense. Yesterday my cat was brushing up against my bike a lot. She has some kind of dark residue right here on her fur. It's not that bad, but um, it's being stubborn with coming off. I think it happened when she was brushing up against the tires. She really likes to just make her rounds before she settles.
like Tiptoe Tingles Girl? Yes? Maybe? Maybe, maybe. <gasps> Here she comes. Is it gonna be time to sit down yet? Is it gonna be time to sit down? Sit down, girl. <laughs> she'll, she'll make up her mind. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, I'm sure. Um, or not I haven't been riding my bike recently ever since I moved here just because the roads aren't very good for it they are theoretically good for it but it's just too many hills for me I hate biking on hills I mean I feel like if you enjoy biking on hills it's because you're You've got to be a really, really, really good biker to enjoy biking on hills. And I'm just like a medium to bad biker, really. For me, it was always a thing of function. I used to live in a place where um, my commute was actually shorter with my bike than with my car because of traffic. So I rode my bike to work, and that was when I got my bike. But now, I don't really have a reason to ride my bike. I don't do it for fun, you know? But I have started to run for fun. Running for fun.
I like to put If you have the privilege of having two rooms to call your own, having one of them be maximalist and one of them be minimalist is really the best way to go because you get the best of both worlds. It's also much easier to have a maximalist room when you have another room that's minimalist, and vice versa. It's quite easy to have a minimalist room when you can take all the stuff and put it somewhere else. The sun just came out. Can you see? Can you see how bright the sun is shining through the window? Can you see how bright the sun is shining through the window? Can you feel it on your moment. I had an acting teacher once who told me that, well not just me, the entire class, that actors live their lives being upstaged by animals. It is impossible to be more interesting than an animal on the stage. And the reason why they always steal the attention is because animals are And within that is that, as an actor, if you tell the truth, you're the best actor on the stage. Um, and that kind of speaks back to one of the ways that Chekhov defined acting, which is living the truth in imaginary circumstances, or telling the truth in a set of imaginary circumstances rather than just playing a part, or other ways that people might think of it. And that is something I like to think about. I like for my I 
always think about intentionality rather than identity. What am I trying to do is a much is much more easier to act from rather than who am I? Relax. Keep your brain. Sounds any different. 